hi there uh it's been a while since i've recorded one of these put one out um but uh i i guess i finally had a little something worth uh videoing and um <clears throat> uh tomorrow is my birthday so um yesterday before i left town for work my wife and mother both had thought of the same idea for a birthday present for me so they went in together to uh, acquire said thing but it was a thing that you couldn't exactly just buy for somebody uh, kind of like a good pair of shoes you need the person to actually go and try it out and so we went to the music store yesterday and looked around and looked around and I've I've always been a budget bargain basement sort of guy uh, you know get the the best I could the cheapest I could and such and um, so I've never really bought a lot of the high-end sort of guitars I mean I bought ones that were decent you know they they fit my needs and stuff and um, so the guy starts shopping me at first with the Taylor guitars which a lot of you know that um, that doesn't come cheap even at the entry level um, <laughs> And, uh, and I tried some of those, I tried some Fenders, tried some different guitars, and um, I was looking for an acoustic because I'm doing a lot of worship leading now, and um, he asked, well, have you tried a Martin? And I remember hearing about Martins, and you know, that's another one that's kind of up there with the Taylor and such. And I, to me, I understand their differences of the qualities of woods and different things that they put into these uh, that make the sound richer and more resonant and I can even hear that in some of them but just to look at them I'm like to see the difference between a guitar that's like three to five hundred dollars and then see the difference of a guitar that's a thousand bucks or more I, I, I just that's kind of like out of my uh, wheelhouse there, uh, out of my comfort zone, I guess would be the way to say it. So I was looking and shopping and he had me look at the Martins, which were behind the case, the, the desk where they actually check folks out. And I was like, oh, this is not a good sign because the ones that are usually behind the case are the ones that are, you know, expensive. But my eye settled on a thing and uh, got it out. The, the play, the feel was just right. Um, the sound was good. Uh, in fact, both my uh, listening audience that was uh, putting me on this quest uh, thought it sounded really good. And so um, he asked if I wanted to box it up. I was like, sure, because we have a cat and you know, cats love boxes. Cat will think it's their birthday. Uh, so without further ado we're gonna make this a kind of artificial unboxing video but here's the box i actually have a box that says martin and co um at the top i know you can't see it on here but it's a dx johnny cash model um so this model in 2006 martin released a commemorative version of the D35 which was what Johnny Cash had a special custom black one that he used all throughout from the 70s on forward well um, of course that's out of most people's price range I mean one the D35 you're talking a few thousand dollars um, and that Johnny Cash commemorative one was like um, I think about three thousand four hundred dollars when I looked it up recently. But um, his son John Carter Cash actually is a musician and plays and such. And uh, they actually decided to design something that was a little more fitting because if you know uh, Cash's origins, he was really not um, he was not from well to do. You know he. Uh, he struggled and made his way up and so uh, they decided to make a guitar that was a little bit more befitting of 
his sort of origins that would be a little bit more entry level for someone to be able to get a bit of the Martin sound without completely having to, you know, sell their car or something to have. So I got it out of the box and it actually came with the uh, gig bag here, but this one is embroidered with that classic cash uh, and then the little star. And then of course it says uh, Martin and Co. Um, but they threw in some picks and cloth and stuff with it, which was really nice. But then you unzip and we got this pretty, pretty. So this is really cool. Um, so first of all, the most uh, immediate recognizable 17th fret, you have the cash word on it again. Um, the inlays are actually stars instead of dots. Um, you, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's a Fishman MX pickup uh, that's hidden inside. So you don't have any electronics apart from the battery compartment and the connector uh, marring up the external look of the guitar. Um, and it's very handy because if you're playing, all you gotta do is kind of reach in there and you got it. Um, another thing, uh, the back of the neck, is this uh, um, black birch laminate for the back. Uh, the fingerboard is actually made of a composite material that resists um, all the heat and humidity changes, so you won't lose a lot of things, especially here in our wonderful Louisiana humidity. Um, let me get a pick, because part of the reason I did this video is because I had a friend who asked me, yeah, but how does it sound? So here I am, uh, gonna put together a little bit. Now, we'll see how this works because I've never really tried recording me playing with this rig. So let's see if I can find that pick that I threw down in the bag. You know, you throw them down in the bag, you never can find them after that. Oh, there he is. Nope. Oh, that's something else. All right. This may be a source for editing later. All right, I'm just going to get a fresh one. We'll go with a relatively thin one. So, um, it also has uh, the rosette, has uh, Johnny Cash's uh, signature kind of done into the rosette here at the bottom. And uh, it's also inside the little tag inside the guitar. Uh, sealed uh, tuning pegs and all the little goodies. So let's see what we can do here. We're just gonna do a few, I guess, classic gospel numbers since uh, that's what I have on my iPad. So uh, remember, if it sounds bad, it's probably the player, not the guitar, okay? Um, Let's try 
something a little more peppy. Since we're doing it on Sunday, I'll give it a try. Come see. Oh, no, I can't do it in that key. Never mind. Uh, we'll find one other. Okay, this is probably heresy. Doing a, on a cash guitar, doing a Hank Williams song, but, uh, But anyone that knows, uh, Johnny Cash is more about the rhythm a lot of times than the, the other things. But here are a couple I'm trying to work on. So forgive me if they are messed up. Uh, let's see. gonna take a lot more work to get down but this is another one I've sort of picked out I haven't worked on fine-tuning it or anything it's uh of some giant cash here are some other classics that i kind of have mem well they're not classics to everybody they're classics to me and my buddies that i used to play in college with um this one uh was one of the ones i was using to test out and figure out which guitars i like the sound of Oh 
then we also have this one, Brian, remember Chapel, long time ago at LC. been I believe about 10 years um, since our our number one lead guitarist from back when we were in college uh, passed away and uh, in memory of him I kind of remembered this tune I never played guitar for it I played bass but here it goes song let me put it back in a key that I can actually play no capo about it um, so you've heard it you've seen it you know imagine what it could sound like in the hands of a really good guitarist but uh, oh I forgot to mention earlier this is one of the great things I enjoy about this because I always hated playing acoustics because of what they call the high action basically the height of the string from the fretboard it requires a lot of pressure on the 
pads of your fingers to hold down these strings and over time that causes a lot of fatigue and hurt and pain of doing that and so uh that's why a lot of folks like electrics or i even had like a semi hollow body epiphone dot studio uh type of guitar because the action's lower because it's more of an electric guitar and acoustics are predominantly uh higher action so it's hard to play them for a long time without feeling feeling it okay um but one of the things that this uh dx series has is a um high performance tapered neck so they make the neck kind of thinner and tapered towards the area where you're playing most of the time so that one that doesn't it doesn't make as wide of a grip that you have to hold on to and press at an odd angle but also the strings have a very good action on them on this guitar and honestly um it's it is miles above like my ovation that i have um but it is just really kind of comfortable to play and i could i mean definitely wouldn't get tired out in the span of like a worship service but um I could even see, uh, you know, a day's worth of practice. I might be getting tired near the end of it, but it wouldn't be the kind of pain that I would normally get from trying to hold down these strings for so long. But anyway, um, so uh, I know my singing wasn't on point. I'm, it's early in the morning, y'all, and uh, just trying to get this out and get it done so that uh, folks can enjoy. Um, uh, if you if you'd like for me to try to do some songs and do some more musical stuff uh, I can work on that um, just let me know in the comments uh, please like this video uh, it helps it uh, to get out there to more folks so that they can see it if they'd be interested in either the guitar or you know if they're interested in the music uh, anyway till next time